<laughs> yeah, good morning, folks. How are you this morning? But chilly this morning. I, I put, had to put my jersey on. Yeah. Now, just a minute. Yeah, I had to close the door, eh? Because the wife's sleeping. She's sleeping with the kitten. The kitten's name is Bo. God, the best thing I ever did was buy my wife a kitten. Oh, they love each other. Go everywhere together. So anyway, what do we, what are we going to talk about today? Well, yes, what what did we do yesterday? What did you, I don't know what you did yesterday because I don't even know who you are, but you probably did something interesting. I hope you did. What did I do yesterday? Well, you see, I have trouble remembering what I did yesterday because I've been diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's disease. That's what they told me. They took a photo of my brain and they showed me on the on the computer. Uh, uh, they put the, my brain alongside a good brain and they showed me how mine is all shrinking, my brain's all shrinking and I'm, and I'm going to lose my memory and I'm going to lose my marbles and I'm going to have to go into a home and someone's going to have to wipe me bum and all that stuff, you know? And, and, and they're preparing me for it, you see. But I'm saying no. I'm saying I want a second opinion on this. <coughs> <coughs> you just can't stick a bloody brain on, on, on anybody's computer and say, listen, you, 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 you get, you're losing your marbles. No, that's serious stuff. I've asked for a second opinion. Now, to get a second opinion, I have to go to my GP. And to go to my GP, I just can't email him. I, 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 I got told off for that a couple of times. I have to uh, ring up his receptionist and ask for an appointment. You see, and then I have to go in there, and then I have to sit in the waiting room for I don't know twenty minutes, half an hour, depending on how busy he is. Um, and then he'll take me in, and he'll say, "Well, Ron, yes, you, we can get your second opinion. It'll cost you X amount of dollars." So that's what's going to happen. And uh, I've invited all my family to come along <coughs> to to the interview for the when I see the doctor, but none of them has replied yet. No, no one said the company coming along. <coughs> oh, and I just remembered I owe the, I owe the doctor 20 bucks. Because I got this, I'm supposed to have high blood pressure, you see. So I've got to go every week or fortnight or so get my blood pressure taken. So I think it's about $15, $20 or something every time they pump my arm up. And I forgot to pay last time because um, I left my wallet at home. Uh, with, with 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 all those cards in it, you know, they, what they call those the FBOS cards, because they don't care any money. And uh, yeah, so so I I own fifteen bucks, so it's going to cost me thirty five, I think it is, to to see him to find out about the second opinion. So that's thirty five. That's it. Um, th th I know fifty bucks won't won't go. You can't get a couple of good uh, appointments to a. a doctor under 50 bucks, could you, for, for, for each, 25 each appointment, or no, 35? It's bloody expensive. And, of course, then you've got another, they give, they give you the pills, and it's $5 every time you get a packet of pills. Jeez, it cost a bloody man a fortune just to be, just to keep himself going, you know. What else did I do yesterday? Oh, yeah, I know. I had a bit of a disagreement with my, uh, Webmaster, I got a guy called uh, what's his name, Mark Medlicott. He does all my uh, all my work. Bloody good bloke. I've been I've been dealing with him for years, and he's he's reasonably priced, and he's been very good to me. We've we've built a lot of websites. None of the buggers work, but uh, <laughs> um, we've had a lot of fun, and 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 I've learned a lot about uh, websites and stuff. And, but anyway, he's bloody hopeless when it comes to marketing. He wouldn't have a clue when it comes to marketing. I asked him to take my photograph once. He said, I don't, I don't, I don't I haven't got a camera. I don't take photos. So, you know, and I wanted to get my photo on my new website. I built this new website called Personal Self Developments. And he's got it with just in writing. And I wanted my photo there. And he said, no, nah, no, nah, that's old fashioned and all that sort of stuff. So I've decided to do something different. I, th I thought, well, what the hell do I need websites for? Websites are old hat. They were bowed out with the bloody blades. We've got YouTube. Why do we need websites when we've got YouTube? It goes all around the bloody world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my uh, uh, 
I'm going to rebrand myself. Yeah, I've got two things I want to do. I want to promote Timaru, I want to promote New Zealand, and I want to promote Ron Bishop. Because I'm the product. I tried to tell Mark this. I'm the product. I've got to promote Ron Bishop. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is have Ron E. Bishop, Timaru NZ, on YouTube. That's my new branding. Ron E. Bishop, Timaru NZ, on YouTube. And we don't need websites, we can, they can just go straight to YouTube and everything that I talk about will be there. I've got 186 of, uh, of videos up there at the moment and people are starting to respond to them. I, uh, I put a video up there called Married for the Wrong Reason and this guy uh, put a comment on it and said, what a fantastic story, Ron. Great story. You see, and then another guy rung, uh, replied and said, I like your stories because they're real. They're real life stories. There's nothing fake about them. You talk about people and you, you use names of people, which is good. You can't hide behind people's names. Yeah. My family didn't understand that, but never mind. They're all right. They're good kids. I love my family. Bloody great. Right. Have you got a pen and paper handy? Get a pad and a pen and write these words down. Ron E. Bishop, Timaru NZ on YouTube. So, Ron E. Bishop, Timaru NZ on YouTube. That's my new address. That's what I'm going to, that's, that's where you're going to find me every morning. Ron E. Bishop, Timaru New Zealand on YouTube. Okay? So, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.